Highway Cleanup was a success, and coming up, we have an inside look into the Creek Cubs' redefinition of spring cleaning. The data, the data survey is coming up soon, but you need to per but you need to purchase your farm ticket before you put on those dancing shoes. And if you have any UD employees or a love for Davidson, an upcoming yearly pageant may just be your calling. The DTV news starts right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege and honor to once again get to announce to you, Miss Davison. For 80 years, the annual Miss pa uh, Davison pageant has been a staple of Davison tradition. Good afternoon, I'm Braden Walker. And I'm Trevor Cherney. You have, you have the chance to become the, the 80s first Miss Davison. There will be a form, there will be informational meeting next Thursday, May 2nd for freshmen through, sen through senior girls who are interested in participating the humbling experience. The meeting will take place in the Career Center at 845 in the morning, the beginning of second hour. To learn even more about the pageant and its history, head on over to DTVNews.org or to see our YouTube page, DTV News, to see DTV's own Emmanuel Clinton's Miss Davison feature. Davison's Key Club is taking spring cleaning to another level by cleaning up our highway. As part of the statewide highway cleaning program, Michaela Stump, Tyler Job, and Ms. Ragnon, Peyton Pavinsky, and Artem uh, Pachanko put on their vest, gathered their tools, and set out to pick up litter on M15 that accumulated during the winter season. They've cleaned up for an hour and, ha uh, hour and a half between Lapeer and Lippincott, and now with all the garbage gone, we get to the green, gra green grass spring has brought. Great job. Your time to purchase your boarding passes upon the Detroit Princess is, uh, is winding down, so make sure that you go see Miss Abizage in room 231 with $80. Monday, April 29th will be the last day to purchase your tickets and fill out your guest forum. Remember that uh, your appropriate attire and behavior is expected of you. You can see that you're back of your ticket for rules, guidelines for prom night, be safe, and dance with time. The cast of this year's musical has been working nonstop, and there's no knowing how amazing it could be unless you go see it. The musical is sort of pure imagination, and it runs from May 2nd through the 4th. Show times are all at 7, tickets are $10, and what you see on TV simply cannot uh, match this. And yes, there will be Oompa Loompas. Be sure to grab yourself a golden ticket for opening night on Thursday. 40,000 robotics superstars from all over the world have converged in Detroit for the first Robotics World Championships. The Davison House of Cards team is currently in the process of qualifying for the next round. This, uh, this is this video of their first match as part of the Red Alliance. The competition will be going on all weekend at Cobo Hall, and the, fin and the finals will be held at Four Field on Sunday. Admission is free, so get down to Detroit and check out this fast-paced action. We have a DTV crew on site, so check out our Twitter feed for updates. Coming up in sports, see how your Cardinals played last night. And Jillian Tate will tell you why you should take this time this weekend to brush up those dancing skills. News, sports, and student life. DTV News has everything you'll ever need to see in Davison, from the main news to the big games. DTV is everywhere. If you can't make it on a rainy night or don't have time, then we've got it covered. Everyone here at DTV is working their hardest to get the news that you need. Check us out on our trailer channel 191 or hit us up on our YouTube channel at DTV News. Having tons of game cancellations last week proved to be no match for our Cardinals last night. Good afternoon, Davison. I'm Jillian Tate. Yesterday at 4, the girls' softball team took on Carmen Ainsworth here on the home field. 
The girls were able to round the bases and total up six points against the Cavaliers. While the ladies defended home plate, the baseball boys were on the road against the Cavaliers and were also able to take the W with a final score of 12-4. Later at 7, the boys lacrosse team secured another victory by defeating the Swords Creek Dragons 6-4. The boys now hold an overall record of 4-2. Although the girls lacrosse team was not able to bring back a win last night, they played their hearts out. The girls were able to score four goals on the Saginaw Heritage Lumberjacks for a final score of 10-4. If you missed any of these intense games last night, you can check out da DavisonAthletics.org so you don't miss out on the next game. Moving on to the world of dance, the varsity team is having tryouts in two weeks on May 6th through the 9th from 5 to 6.30 in the cafeteria. You must have a sports physical and athletic registration packet and an all clear yellow card from the athletic office to participate in tryouts. Stop by the athletic office to pick up your tryout letter and see Miss Bruce. Tonight, the girls' soccer team is hoping to defend the Nets and their record of 3-3 three and three and 2 as they face the Amway City Spartans. Tomorrow afternoon, you can catch the ladies from the girls' lacrosse team as they take on the Trojans coming from East Lansing at 1. Also tomorrow, the softball team will be making their way over to Troy Athens High School to compete in the Troy Athens Tournament. Hey, Bailey, I know I'm wishing the girls good luck for this weekend, but is the forecast looking hopeful for them too? Well, Jillian, it's going to be very sunny this weekend, so it's safe to say it'll be nice out for our student-athletes. Kicking it off on Friday, it'll, it'll be an overcast with some humidity and some wind also, in a, with a high of 61 and a low of 33. Heading off to Saturday, it'll be a sunny with some cloud coverage in the area, with a high of 51 and a low of 34. So, and for Sunday, you can expect some sun with a high of 51 and a low of 34. It's overall looking to be a really nice weekend. That's it for this weekend's weather. Back to Braden and Trevor on the desk for some bottle drive info. Between band and orchestra and choir, there's no doubt that Davidson's got a rocking performance art department. But such talent also needs some funding for instrument repairs, music, and other things to keep the program running smoothly. From April 29th to May 15th, NHS is collecting bottles to benefit our passionate music students. You can drop them off in boxes in the cafeteria and the auditorium hallway. So don't throw away those kickstart cans. Whatever you go early or get some extra sleep, there's no doubt that Wednesday mornings can be a little sluggish. No need to fear. The coffee cart is here to bring you an extra pick-me-up. You may need it to make it through the day. You can also buy a cup of tea for 50 cents. Coffee is a dollar and iced coffee for a dollar fifty. And a cappuccino for two dollars. All proceeds go to Carriage Town Homeless Shelter for your pick-me-up. Uh, we'll help out someone else too. If you want to see Davidson news and some behind the scenes photo, if it's some behind the scenes update of DTV, be sure to check us out on social media. Our Twitter and Instagram can both found under the handle DTV underscore official. Our Snapchat and Facebook can be both DTV news. And don't forget our YouTube page is DTV news where you can find old newscast stories and specials. Peaking of social media there is another poll for this weekend in light of the movie turned musical coming up this weekend we have we want to know if you'd rather sit and watch a home watch a movie at home or go out and see it in form of a musical or play let us know for exclusive web content and to buy dvds check out our website dtvnews.org you can find articles on the latest in news and sports check out scholarships and find the scores from the latest games so uh the scavenger hunt huh yeah, uh, personally, I won a uh, $5 gift card to Tim Hortons. Hopefully, I can actually use it. But every morning, it's like very hectic at Tim Hortons. So it's yes. like, I really want to use it, but I haven't had the chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I, I can only feel for you, though. <laughs> <laughs> if you got a token and you haven't turned it in yet, go to Miss Martin's room, 231, to redeem it for a prize egg. Well, I'm Jillian Tate, alongside Bailey Kinneman, Braden Walker, and Trevor Turney. Have a nice day, Davidson.